morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Slano, and this is Flame. Dr. Monique's back, and Sir Siegfried? Is that you over there? Wow, we're so glad you made it. And we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. We've been looking forward to this episode for such a long time. And Sir Siegfried, we're glad you could join us for this quiz. Before we get going on our quiz, dragons, let's hear what Saif has to say. Take it away, Saif. Marvelous job, Saif. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Claim the sun is going to rise today at 5.55 in the morning. 5.55. And Dr. Monique, the sun is going to set at 8.16 in the evening. It's a beautiful day. It's great to be outside. And it's a wonderful opportunity to eat healthy. And Sir Siegfried, you love fruit, right? You love fruit and you love the salad bar. And eating healthy is the way to go, dragons. We never want to skip the contents of the salad bar. It's a friendly reminder to walk and wash your hands and get some contents, get some things from the salad bar before you get into the lunch line. And that got us to thinking, we've been looking forward to this quiz for a while now, where there are five fruits, there are five fruits, dragons, that are served on any given day at the salad bar, at the Camelot salad bar. Right, let's see if you can remember what they are. Right, they are, that's right, we've got apples and bananas, and we've got oranges and pears, and we've got grapes, right? Apples, bananas, oranges, pears, and grapes. So we thought it would be neat to see if the dragons knew which fruit has the least amount of sugar and which fruit has the most amount of sugar, and then everything in between, right? So we start with the least amount, and go into the fruit with the most sugar, the most sugar. So let's see, here they are again, dragons, here are the five fruits. Let's see if we can think of the fruit with the least amount of sugar in this list. What do you think, Dr. Monique? You are the expert at this. Isn't that neat? Now you could look at a bunch of different places, dragons, for some of this information, but it comes out almost every time that the fruit in this list with the least amount of sugar is the orange. What? How about that? The least amount of sugar comes from the orange. It has a lot of good nutrients, including vitamin C. And then the second, the one we would put in second place for least amount of sugar is, yes, flame, kind of like the color of your scaly scales, the pear. The pear comes in second. And then the middle one, which fruit would be in the middle? Sir Siegfried, do you think you know? Do you think, yes, good job, apples. Apples are in the middle. They've got a lot of good fiber, they've got some sugar in them, but they are always going to be a tasty snack. And what we should use last for natural toothbrush, and then the one with the second most amount of sugar is the banana. The banana has some sugar in it, and that means that the fruit with the most amount of sugar in it are grapes, especially the red grapes, those red purplish grapes that they serve in the Camelot salad bar. That doesn't mean that they're bad for you, dragons. That's We serve them for good reasons because they have lots of nutrition in them. But if you were to dazzle your family and friends to say which fruit has the most sugar, it would be grapes. So eat them in moderation, be kind, get a good serving size, which is about eight grapes or three slices of something or half a banana, and you will not regret your healthy decision. Dun, dun, dun. It's time for the birthday box. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Sir Siegfried, Brontosaurus, that gets me hungry. That gets me in a great place to think about the salad bar later today. You know what else gets me in a good place are the birthdays. Now let's see, the 17th, we didn't have any kid birthdays yesterday, but good news, dragons. The Michael's birthday is today. He's in pre-K. Happy birthday, Zamichael. Michael. And this note here says that there is a special first grade teacher who has a birthday and that belongs to Miss Snyder. 
Woo! Way to go, Miss Snyder! Happy birthday to you. Excellent, excellent stuff. That puts us a smile on our faces, right, Blaine? Now, what else? The Wednesday Wonderings, all this talk about sugars. You are wondering why there's so much candy. There shouldn't be any candy. You should not be eating candy. That is not good for you. No health benefits from the candy, right? We can't be eating that maybe as a tasty thing once in a while, but definitely not in schools and definitely not in class with different wrappers on the ground and no gum. We know that. But yes, Dr. Moe, like, let's get back on the fruit train. What fruits have less sugar than oranges, right? If you look at the list of which what fruits have the least amount of sugar. Yeah, there are some really fun ones, and then there's some fruits that actually have more sugar. That's, what did you say? The mango. That is a sugary-tastic type of a fruit. You might like mangoes. They are good for you, but they do have a lot of sugar. So dragons, make healthy decisions about your sugar content. Make healthy decisions at the salad bar. And who knows what will happen with your energy levels and your focus. So, on behalf of Flame, on behalf of the very healthy Dr. Monique, and on behalf of Sir Siegfried and his Brontosaurus buddy, I'm Mr. Slano. Enjoy your Wednesday today, dragons. See the goodness. Be the goodness. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.